Hey guys, Colin here with Sportsman's Adventures Real Life. Today we're doing some bank fishing in Coral Springs Tamarack area looking for snakehead. Uh, now we've done a video before for snakehead, we did it from the kayaks, but this time we're hopping in the car driving around town looking for waterways like this and just casting a line. So hopefully we can get hooked up and uh, stay tuned for more. Not that time. Not that time. He came back for it, which is pretty rare for a, for a snakehead, but it's a good one to start the day too. He ain't bad. <laughs> oh, he is not bad at all. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good one to start it. A lot of times when you pull those hooks out, because they hit so aggressively and because they have such a hard skull, you gotta really set the hook on them and oftentimes it'll end up right in the corner of their eye and the roof of their mouth. So there you have it. He's probably about two to three pounds. Not a huge one, but a good one to start the day for sure. So it's really hard to get rid of them, but they are a fun game fish to come down here to South Florida, fish these urban canals in the Tamarack Coral Springs area to catch beautiful dinosaur looking fish like this. Let's say goodbye to this guy. We're gonna let him go. And there he goes. Whoa, he slammed right into that culvert. Oh, oh. Come on, man. You saw that, right? There was a fish there. That's a good one. Oh, what did he do? He hooked the freaking thing through itself and bit. He literally grabbed it by the other paddle and he was barely hooked and just pulled off. <laughs> yes, right on the point. That's a good one, Sean. Get out of the sticks there. Oh, that's a good one. Let's get him up here. Whoo! Boy, do they fight, man. Logger toad, eagle claw, and diamond raid. That's everything you needed to put one of these guys on land. <laughs> Probably one of the hardest fighting freshwater fish in South Florida. That's how it's done. Not like how I did before. <laughs> and he hit that the second it hit the water. It wasn't like he came to the surface and grabbed it. It was just, it sunk about two inches and he went down and just scooped it up. Saw my line go tight. He was not coming off. That was in there. Till next time, buddy. Let's get a release. Three, two, one. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. It doesn't get old. But like I was saying before, those are the things you want to look for um, when you're fishing from the banks for these guys. You want a little bit of shade when the sun comes up. They do like dark feeding, uh, overcast conditions. But these two points actually are where we hooked up. Uh, well, we didn't hook up on this one, but we hooked up on that one. 
had one chase it over here and then we hooked up on this point over here all areas where there's a lot of shade with sunlight in the area so you like to think that that's why there's such an ambush predator when we throw those topwater frogs and they're just chasing them out of those pockets and uh, oftentimes that's what happens you hit those points where the shade meets the sunlight and boom so let's get re-rigged and see if we can get another one uh let's try this point a little further down oh my god man it's just not stopping this one spot holy sh <laughs> oh and they're getting bigger they're getting bigger folks <laughs> that's a good one that is a solid fish crazy thing is is normally these fish aren't like peacock bass like I was saying before where they come back to a spot after you spook them but that was definitely the fish that chased our lure before but did not hit it so I have no doubt in my mind that was him let's give him the sun take a look at this guy again that is so cool where I felt that almost get me right in the face but hey when uh, when I was talking about how they people release them on the bank and they just make their way back in there it is <laughs> all right guys thanks for joining us here on the captain Rick Murphy YouTube channel today I mean we're having a blast out here there's just so many fish especially in this one spot I mean I think we've worked this spot a little bit too much we've caught what three or four fish right in here I think it was three, hooked into like four or five actually. Uh, but we're gonna keep moving along the bank, having a good time today. So if you like what you saw, hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next time.